Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I thought I'd make a tutorial that shows you how to convert your audio and video to editing-friendly formats so you have an easier time making AMVs. Now this won't be as in-depth as some of my other tutorials, but it's just meant to show you the main steps. The first thing I want you to do is make sure file extensions are showing. So go get some files, and we want to see this. If you don't see that, go to Tools, Folder, Options, View, and make sure your hide extension for known file types is unchecked. Go apply, go OK, and now you should see the different file types there so we can distinguish between all the different file types we'll be using. Next, go download and install all of these programs. I'll try to provide links in the description, but uh, it's up to you to make sure that that's all done correctly. Once that's done, go get your audio. Okay, if you're using CDs, rip them to lossless WAV files, but if you have MP3s, convert using Audacity. Go to File, Export, pick a location, save, OK. Close that. No, mine's on my desktop. And now you have a nice, stable, reliable WAV file you can use when you're editing. Now let's go get your video. At this point, I'll assume your footage is already on your computer. But regardless of the file type you have, the first step is to make a script for it. Now let's say I want this MP4 file. Open it up with ABSB mod. And you'll get a template like this. You can preview it. If you want to make some changes, just add a new line, so let's go to line 36, F5, and it will scale it down to whatever resolution you want it. If I don't like direct show source and I want something a bit more frame accurate, I might want to go FF video source. Hit F5, and now it will go get my footage using a different source call that's a bit more frame accurate. Make any other changes you want to make, and then go file, save as script as, pick a location, save it, close it, and now you have your script right there. So open it up with a virtual dub, scan through it, make sure that it looks alright. Go audio, no audio, video, compression, pick the format you want, this is the one we want right here, the one that ends in zero. Go OK, and if you want to make clips, you can go to the beginning of the scene that you want, hit the mark in button, scroll to the end of the scene that you want, and hit the mark out button. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go back and forth, mark out, go file, save as AVI, save it to a location I want, and wait for that to render out for you. Okay, so that's done, and now on my desktop I have a nice big lossless AVI file that's in an editing friendly format that I can use to make my AMV. If you want to save the whole movie, you can just close this, open it up again with virtual dub, and this time don't select anything. And now when you go uh, audio compression, change it to that, save it as AVI, now it will just save the whole thing. I have some files already rendered out, and if you just look at it, look at that. So if you are going to save the whole movie, make sure you have enough disk space. Just go to your computer and check out how much you've got. Now before you take your footage and just bring it into your editor, you're going to want to set your project settings correctly first. So go get your footage, like this one, open it up with virtual dub, go file, file information, and make sure you know what resolution and frame rate you've got. Go get your music, you should have a WAV file, open it up with, uh, let's go media player classic, it'll start playing when you want to just pause it, go file, uh, properties, media info and it will tell you what sample rate you got so remember that to go close and now that we have all that information we can just go to our editor go to our timeline go edit timeline mode um, it'll be different depending on the program you're using go to our project settings movie change our sample rate change our resolution change your aspect ratio in this case I'm using square pixels so I'm actually going to use a 48 to 480. 23.98 is the frame rate I'm using. Go OK. You might need to change the aspect ratio of the preview window. Go adjust. And now you can just take your music, your video, and there it is. Nice and fast so that when you're editing, you have a nice easy time doing whatever you want to your footage. It would be a pretty good idea to learn some of the basic controls of your editing program. You can read the manual, but uh, say if you're using Magic's Movie Edit Pro, I'll just go over the basics. You can hold Shift and B 
that will zoom out to your entire timeline. You can zoom in and zoom out using these buttons. You can use the bar to zoom in and out. Hold control and scroll the mouse to zoom in zoom out. If you want to move forward in your footage, just scroll your mouse. It's pretty easy. You can hold control and 1 to zoom in to individual frames. Control and 2 to zoom a little bit out. These are still frames. You can go control 3, 4, 5 to zoom out even more. If I want to make a cut, select the clip you want, hit the T button on your keyboard, and now you've made a cut. This clip is separated from this clip. Now if you don't want to keep cutting and deleting clips, you can trim the clip just by going to the corner that you want to trim and just trim it. Same thing on, with the other end, just trim it, trim it. And you can also extend it, okay, so if it was here and there's more footage, it'll go ahead of that frame, which is really, really convenient. If you want to speed up or slow down a clip, go get your clip, then change your tool to stretching. The nice thing about this and all the tools on Magix is that they have hot keys there, so you can see Alt plus 4 will also change to this tool. So I can click it like that and then just compress or stretch it, right? which is nice for timing. Or instead of like if I just had my object tool and I just went Alt 4, now I also have it. It's really cool. If you want to make a fade, you can go like that and now it starts off black and eases in from black. If you want to fade out, go like that. If you want to do a crossfade, you can overlap them, kind of like a Windows Movie Maker. Another thing you could do is put one of the clips on an upper layer, depending on what order your layers in, are in. Um, in my case, this is the upper layer. And you can go like that, and now it will fade from the lower layer to the upper layer. Another thing you could do is go get a clip and put it on the upper layer and change the opacity of it. So now this layer is 50% on top of this layer. Okay, so you can see that there. That's by just changing the opacity. You might want to do some audio editing to your music, so well, let's just change the volume of it back to zero. And now if I want to make a break here, I can just press the T button and make a break here. I can maybe delete that and merge them together. You'll have to figure out where those natural breaks are, but then you can audio edit so that they go together a little bit easier. And that's about it for, well, the basics that you need to know to make an AMV. You might want to organize them a bit. So like, make your clips, clip, clip, and just organize them how you want. Um, sometimes what you can do is like, pick a section and if you don't want to figure out where all those scene changes are, you can right click, go scene detection, um, start search, and it will maybe detect <laughs> all the different uh, locations where the scene changes occur. Make sure you cut at all markers, go apply, and now your footage is cut up into the clips so that you can organize them better. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you um, an old project of mine. You can see how I organize my audio, you can see how I organize my video. I zoom in, you've got uh, different clips, different fades. I used a bunch of different layers um, to keep things organized. Um, and you can see the waveform, how some of the, the scenes match up with the audio. So once you're done making your AMV, you want to select the area that you want to render out, and then go File, Export Movie, Uncompressed Video. Make sure these settings match whatever your audio and video were. Make sure you export as progressive, not as interlaced, because we did a bunch of steps to remove the interlace and we don't want to add it again. Pick a location and a name, OK, and then it will render the video for you at the bottom. Go to the location where you saved it, and there it is. It's this nice big lossless master copy of your AMV. We're going to compress our footage ourselves right now. So just take it, open it up with Zarx 264 GUI. You got an AVI file, so you want to import with an AVI source. Import. I'll make a script. Okay. If you want to make any modifications to your footage, open that up with AVSP Mod and do your changes there. The default settings are probably just fine for most people. If you're curious what they do, just hover your cursor over a section and it'll tell you. Otherwise, everything is filled out for you and you can just click encode. It will first process the audio. Once that's done, it'll start to encode the video. It takes a little bit of time. You can just click done. Close Arcs 264 UI. 
And there it is right there. Okay, so just have fun. Hopefully you learned a little something about making AMVs. And until next time, my name is Chris, and this has been a tutorial from amvguide.blogspot.com.